distinguish between proportional and non-proportional situations using a graph, Lesson 4.4a. If a relationship is nonlinear, it is non-proportional. If it is linear, it may be either proportional or non-proportional. When the graph of the linear relationship contains the origin, 0, 0, 0 for x, 0 for y, the relationship is proportional. Now look at these three graphs. We have this one where it's not going through the origin. It is a straight line, so it is linear, but because it's not going through the origin at 0, 0, it's non-proportional. If a relationship is linear, it may be either proportional or non-proportional, and in this case, it's non-proportional because it's not going through the origin. For this one, it is going through the origin. Not only is it a straight line, so it's linear, but it's going through the origin, so it's proportional. If a relationship is linear, it may be either proportional or non-proportional, and in this case, it is proportional. Now look at this one. This line is doing a curve. It's nonlinear. It's not a straight line, and the rule is if the relationship is nonlinear, it's automatically non-proportional. So this is nonlinear and non-proportional, even though it's going through the origin. Because it's nonlinear, it's non-proportional. When the graph of the linear relationship contains the origin, 0 for x, 0 for y, the relationship is proportional. Let's start by taking a look at this graph. We can see the x axis is labeled the number of packages, and the y-axis is labeled the number of cookies. The graph shows the number of cookies based on the number of packages purchased. Does the graph show a linear relationship? Well, look, it's a straight line. Yes, it does. It is a straight line. Is the relationship proportional or non-proportional? It's proportional because the line goes through the origin 0, 0. This means if we buy zero packages, we'll have zero cookies. And if you look where x is 1, y is 2, that's what they meet right here. That means if we buy one package, we're going to get two cookies. And since it's proportional, if we buy two packages, we'll get four cookies. And three packages is six cookies, four packages is eight cookies, five packages is ten cookies. It's proportional. Here we have six graphs. And we need to determine if each of the graphs represents a proportional or non-proportional relationship. And we have some labels here. We have plenty of labels. We need to label each one. We can start with this one. It is linear, but look, the line is intercepting the y-axis up here at 3, so it's not going through the origin. That means it's not proportional. So we're going to put a non-proportional label there. Now this one is going through the origin, and it's a straight line. So that one is proportional. This one is going through the origin at 0, 0. It is a straight line. This one is proportional. This one is going through the y-axis at 2. That would mean the y-intercept b is a 2, wouldn't it? That is not going through the origin. That would be non-proportional. Now look at this one. It's going through the origin and then curving up. That means it's nonlinear. And remember the rule? If it's nonlinear, it's non-proportional. And look at this one. It's going through the origin, but it's not a straight line. Again, if it's nonlinear, if it's not a straight line, it's non-proportional. When a graph is a straight line, it indicates a constant rate of change. The equation of this line has a y-intercept of 3 because the line crosses the y-axis at 3. Now, I wanted to show you proportional relationships using all four quadrants of the coordinate plane. So, do you remember that the quadrants of the coordinate plane 
start here. This is quadrant one, and it's going to make the letter C as in coordinate plane. So we're going to go quadrant one, two, three, four. Okay. If you take a look at these, it's going through the origin at zero, zero. It's a straight line. This one's going through the origin at zero, zero, and it's a straight line, even though it's falling to the right and it's a negative slope. Both of these graphs show proportional relationships because the lines go through the origin, zero, zero. Now take a look at these two graphs. We have straight lines, but they're not going through the origin at zero, zero. Whether they're positive or negative, they're not going through the origin. Both of these graphs show non-proportional relationships because they don't go through the origin. So to wrap up this lesson, if it goes to the origin, it's proportional. That's if it's straight. If it's nonlinear, it's non-proportional. And if the line is straight, it's linear. Now, do you see my little arrows pointing to the right? This means therefore. In math, that arrow to the right means therefore. If we had 2 plus 3 equals 5 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 4, therefore 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. If we know that this is equal to 5 and this is equal to this, if they're equal to each other, well then 1 plus 4 must also equal 5. And we would say, therefore 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, we're finished with part A. We're going to move on to part B, which is distinguish between proportional and non-proportional situations using an equation. I hope I explained this well and that you understand. Hit that like button so I know. It's the only way I can tell if you really understood. And join me for the next lesson. Bye.